this is going to be my biggest review ever. Uh, mainly because uh, it is not a um, uh, Bakugan like this. It's not one of these. It is one of these. You might not even know what that is. But um, actually, if you're watching this on my channel and you just saw that I uploaded it, then you might not know what it is. If you clicked on this just on YouTube.com or Google.com, then you probably know what it is. It's a Lego. And this is going to be an awesome review. It's, uh, it's, I've done one other before, and that was on the Caxium V3, an old Bionicle set. But this one is more new, just came out in August and something I've been wanting for a really long time, so I thought it would be pretty cool. Now, I'm going to get the box out here. I actually moved the computer to see the box, because the box is big compared to a Bakugan's box. So, I'll try and get something so that you guys can see the box. Uh, now... Again, really big box. You probably know what that is. It is the red cargo train by Lego. A really cool set. I really like it. And it is ages 6 through 12. Uh, set number 3677. And red cargo train, 831 pieces. Batteries not included, which uh, isn't too bad because it just uses a lot of triple A's. And trust me when I say, got a lot of them. And I have more downstairs, so I have a ton, so I don't really need to worry. But if you get this set, you might need to worry about it because batteries are pretty expensive. And this set was already $159. I just got it with the $40 off um, thing at Toys R Us. So I got a discount on it, which was really cool. And then it comes with the regular track. And it also comes with some of these, which are the little flex track pieces, which can just go like this. They have a slight pivoting action. You might be able to see there. Put that back. This is my setup over here. I have everything set up. It's actually the picture on this box. And the piece that I just showed you was this piece right here. And it's a pretty cool box. Modular build. So, uh, I don't get... It says that it has an easy start. But that makes no sense. Almost every set is a modular build, right? So, I don't know. I, I honestly have no clue. But it shows the red cargo train, the engine here. It comes with this little tower, a little tipping cart, a flatbed um, car that can actually hold a truck that it comes with, which is back here. And the truck can actually go on the rails. Flatbed car has a little um, uh, crane on it and can pick these little things up and then it comes with a radioactive sludge carrying car which I thought was pretty cool and that's pretty much most of the front locks oh except for this I just noticed this it's a special edition and I actually got this like a week ago but I've actually been on vacation so yeah it shows the controller which I have right here Let's see I can cover that See, it's exactly the same. There. Exactly the same. But yeah, here's the controller. It's, it's better than this controller, which was the old style. But this controls the train. And it can control this, which I made, which I called the destruction bot for, for, for a pretty good reason. Let's just go with, it has a swinging arm that has a giant 
spike on it. And it can rip things to shreds. Or, this can control the train. So, that's pretty cool. I'll put both of those to the side and show you those later. And, then it comes with a battery box, which actually originally has this on it, on the battery box, but you have to exchange it with the red part of it to make it go with the set. And in here, I actually keep all of the extra pieces that it comes with and these little things that hold the track together. I'll show you all of those later. And technically, this is an extra piece, too. And then the motor, which are the train wheels, and the infrared receiver. Uh, I can actually show you one right here. If I can get it unplugged and everything. This is an infrared receiver. It just picks up the signal that this sends out. And this plugs into the battery box, so if this actually had the battery thing in it, this would plug onto the top of there, and then this would um, pick it up, or this would pick up the signal from here, and then it has two little plug things right here that these from other sets actually plug into, or from other motors, like the motor on there, or the motors that I have on this one. And they plug into these two spots, and then the motors can move when you take the controller and move it. Just like that. Or on this one, twist these around. Like that. So, move that to the side, and this is the exact same thing that comes with that over there. That train is over there. It's the exact same thing, just this is about five years old, and that one is brand new. That's the only difference. And now I'll turn the box around. And it has all of the information on the back. I guess this is the modular build. I guess this is what it means that the bags split up into different parts of it. But I thought that other sets do that too. Or I just do that. I don't know. And then it has the same picture that it has on the front, shows all the different sets, the switch tracks, the flex tracks, the um, level crossing, the train station, the passenger train, and the normal cargo train. Then it shows the power functions over here and shows that it has seven speeds and eight channels. Then has a really cool picture of all of the sets over here, has two of the um, train stations, three of the passenger trains, one of the cargo train, one of the red cargo train, and all of the different pieces. And then that, I'm not sure what set that is. And it has a bus. And then it shows all of the different functions of everything, which I'll get into um, better detail about that later. But now, let's get on to the set. So let's throw that out. Oh wait, before we do that, I'm going to show the instructions. Not really much about it, but um, the instructions, it's just like each different part. Like... This is the engine, of course. This is the flatbed car. This is the tower, and then all these other ones back here. And now, I will this so that you guys can see the setup over here. And this is the setup. I'm going to try to get into a good position where I can see the screen, too. Alright, so that I know what you guys are seeing. And I'm going to pick this up and look. Let's see if I can get a good angle on it. It's the entire layout that's on the front of the box. I worked for about 25 minutes putting that together. Yeah, that's not really it, but that's all of the things. That's all of the pieces of the set. That's not what I'm here to show you. Now, I'll move this right back to where I started. For you. Try and get this into a good position. Get the engine. Over here. 
and then put it on the little circle, or actually half circle of rails that I have over here to make it drive on in to where you guys can see it. And there is the engine. This is the locomotive. And it's a very cool piece. I'm going to turn it off by pressing this little green button right here. And then to control it, you just do these. But since it's not on right now, of course, it's not going to move. Oh, oh. And it's pretty cool. It's really heavy, way heavier than I was expecting it to be because it has all the batteries and the motor and everything. Little top comes off, and there's a, the place to put the engineer, which I'm gonna get him right now. There he is, right here. This little engineer. You can sit on inside and put the cap back on. And he, he has the little uh, train symbol for the um, here for Lego City. Uh, it actually has a pretty detailed like, grill in the front. Not a grill as in, like, to cook things on. That's what it's called in, like, the front of cars and stuff like that. If you're if you're young and don't know if you're six, which I think that's the minimum age for this set. Yeah, if you're, like, six or seven. And it's really cool. There were a bunch of things that really surprised me about this set. Um, one of them was actually this back here. I'll go ahead and take that off. Show you guys. Now, one thing that really surprised me is this. It's the little thing that goes along. I forgot exactly what it's called. I normally do now. Yeah. This has the magnet and everything. Like it can it can reconnect to the front. Just like that. Using magnets. And then uh this is actually what connects onto a little joint on the bottom, just like how it can connect onto here, just like that, and then it has these, uh, which are little like bumper things, so that the trains don't scratch each other, like in a really really sharp turn. That would have to be some sharp turn to be able to scratch each other. I don't know. But what really surprised me on these is that inside the little axle that holds the wheels together is not plastic. It's a metal rod. I had no idea about that before. And the wheels are pretty good too. It actually comes with four extra wheels for whatever reason. These wheels, they're the ones that have more detail on them. Those are, they're actually the ones that go on the engine piece of it. I guess just in case they like wear down because they're on the engine or something. I don't know. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, and that has these little orange things for whatever reason. I'm going to snap it back onto the back here. And then put it back on the rails. And it has a little, like, box type thing right here. Um, that says pneumatics? Pneumatics? Or, I don't know. Oil, electrics, and water. And the other side is exactly the same. I'm just showing you this side. See, exactly the same. Just except for the one sticker that I just said. It says um, uh, electrics and water instead of these two. And this is the end or the battery box right here. This you can actually see the battery box on the outside. That's why it does not use the gray cover. It uses a red cover. It comes with some of these gates and. Then you can see the bumpers in the front and the little magnet sticking out here. It has lights here. The lights do not light up like the old one. But, whatever. And there you can see one of um, these. I'll just, yeah, I'll just grab this. You can see one of these on the front. You can actually plug this one onto the top. Now it has two infrared receivers on it. But that is the plug for the infrared receiver. And then the cord goes through here. It gets all like wrapped up right here. Then comes over to here. And then in here. 
this is the infrared receiver, it just has a sticker on it there. And then that's the little actual receiver part, see? Right there. So, yeah. And then it has the windows. For whatever reason, he has this big pole in front of him, he wouldn't be able to see. But people have said that he wouldn't be able to steer. Uh, how dumb can you get? Uh, you don't have to steer a train. That's why the rails are curved. It follows the rails. Like this, you don't have to steer it. All I have to do is do this. Watch, I'm not even going to touch this one. Well, if the receiver will work... See? Didn't even have to touch it. And I don't know what they're thinking. But, yeah, you don't have to steer a train. It goes on its own. Just get that. And so... Yeah, that's the locomotive. And now I'll go ahead and take that off. Or actually, no. Wait, I don't know. No, I'm just going to take that off. And send this one in. I'm actually going to make the locomotive push this, actually. See if it'll get on the rails. Jeez. Alright, now turn the engine on. And now, I said go! Jeez. Thank you, engine. You make it work for me. Okay, and this is the like, dumping car or whatever. It has a little gear right here that you turn and it turns that. This is a new piece, that's a new piece, and that's a new piece. And, of course, the wheels are pretty much the same, with the same metal um, little center piece right there. And there's not really much to say about these carts, other than this. This is its little tower that is supposed to work with these, and it can dump little Lego bricks into there. And put some more in. Just by spinning the little conveyor belt that it comes with. Which is pretty cool. I'm not sure, but I think the conveyor belt might be a new piece. But I don't know. And then you take this. Oops, come on. You take this. Which goes right there. And then you... Let's see, this needs to be right up on the rail, just like that. Then you turn this, and it'll go down the ramp, and go into there. Oh, two more. Come on. There we go. And then just keep going. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to dump those back in. So, they just go inside of there. You can see some of them right there. And it's a pretty cool cart. It rides really smoothly on the rails. Of course, these are turned, so they're not quite as smooth as the straights or the flex tracks right here, which can just as easily go on. Wait. And then it can do its flexing thing while it is still on it, which is pretty cool. Get these flex tracks out of here. It actually comes with 16 of the flex tracks, so it comes with comes with about this this far flex track. And now get rid of that one and pull out the box car, the radioactive sludge box car. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rails, turn the engine on, and make the engine work for me. There's that. And drive away. And here is the radioactive sludge box car. And actually, I'm going to have to make a part two on this because I am just getting to about 20 minutes. So, see you guys. Uh, make sure to watch part two.